sure he is. Ladies and gentlemen, Howard Stern. Hey, Papa Fui. So what happened to Elliot Elliot often? Is he coming in or not? Well, he's still out uh, in the lobby. There are two police officers. What happened was Elliot had like a giant truck, like a you, you rent a truck from a big company, and he went to go park it at a parking garage. But um, I guess it was too big for the garage, and he tore down a bunch of signs in the ceiling and everything, and then he just left. Ugh. So somehow the cops figured he was here. They came up to talk to him. So now they're at the part where they, they're like, dude, you got to move the truck. You can't leave it where you left it. So he goes, well, would you move it for me? And, the, and he doesn't understand that the cops don't move trucks. They're not working no. for him. Yeah. So then he asks his friend to move it. His friend doesn't have a driver's license. Then they ask him to move it. Turns out Elliot doesn't have a driver's license. Oh. So oh, I, no. the cops are like, well, how long do you need him? Meaning, like, if, if you know, if he can come in here for a little bit, and then they're going to need him back. They're going to arrest him? I think they're just going to make him move the truck. But I, I don't but know. But how can he move it if he doesn't have a license? Yeah, I mean, now we're in a real problem. All right, well, not, let Elliot come in and say goodbye. And I'm not sure why they why they had to, um, either one of them had to offer up the not having a license thing. Now, what do you, do you mean? In other words, they could when, they, when the cops said move the truck, they should have just gone down and moved the truck. They, have to they told that they didn't They move told the cops oh, they don't have a license? Yeah. Both of them offered that up to the police. Elliot and his friend. Elliot's like a major scam artist. He doesn't know not to tell the police he doesn't have a license. How's he been getting away with his scams all this time? Yeah. He's so bad at it. Holy mackerel. All right, you know what? You better let Elliot say goodbye before the cops drag him out of well, here. Well, they're going to keep him. They're going to let him stay. Do you think you should play that piece before Elliot comes in? Or do you want to just get Elliot right in? I just got a feeling the police can't wait that long. Uh, it might be the long goodbye. Here you go, Elliot. Boy, Elliot, trouble follows you around, all right, man. So, all right, there was a little accident with the thing. Let's not make a, a federal calamity. All right, an accident with the truck. The roof fell down. All right, okay. The roof fell down. All right, we can, we can handle it, right? <laughs> we can handle it, right? The NYPD know who I am, right? No issue. The guy Joe Gallon from Screw Magazine, my business partner, is going to sit in the truck until I get off the interview. No issue. Hey, Howard. Hey, Elliot. Hey, Gary. Well, Elliot, hey, you, uh, so in other words, when you told the police you don't have a driver's I license. I didn't say that. Hello, right? Joe Gallant doesn't have a driver's license from Screw Magazine. Do you I have, have a, You know I do, right? Right. So now they took my address at the Mondrian, right? They know where I am. I'm not going anywhere, right? So when I get off the interview... We'll resolve the beef. Gangster talk for the issue, right? No, what we'll, resolve, we'll resolve the beef. Yeah, I always have an address. You know that, Robin, right? I did, do you drive, I, did you drive? I do what I want, you drove right? Tr you drove a truck let's not here. Talk, let's not talk about <clears throat> the truck. The truck had the no, goods. But let me understand the something. truck has the goods in it. Gangster talk for merchandise, right? What's it, in the truck? It has all the videos that we're delivering, that we're shipping. That's a truckload. <laughs> a truckload, right? All right, okay. so in other words, you the, had the, a truckload of videos. Uh, videos, Violet dehumanizes Elegant Elliot. Yeah, Elliot, I, Elliot, don't filibuster. Let me just understand one there thing. Ain't so no, I can there ain't on. no filibuster. Here's the Screw Magazine, right? But let right? me understand something. The feature story of Elegant Elliot in Screw Magazine, even though Al Goldstein is bankrupt, Joe Gallant and his boys took it over and they did a feature story, right, Robin? All right. There right, you Elliot, go, Elliot. Elliot, Elliot, the video. So you packed up a truck and the truck is a U-Haul type truck. Yeah, the truck and is a U-Haul. It was too high, so when you pulled into right. the parking garage, so, but, the, whole right. top of, the whole top of the truck came. No, out. not the truck. The top of the truck, Howard. No. Right. No, the top of the top of the garage hit the truck. No big issue. No sweat. We can handle what all was that. Not, right? What was what was destroyed? What the, kind, ceiling. The, the ceiling. The ceiling. That's some a, signs. A couple of signs. Uh, <laughs> not, not Ninety ninety one dollars and damage. We'll cough it up and fork it over and resolve the issue. So what happened? Right? So Minor what? stuff, so right? Did, so I guess you know, garage... Elegant Elliot, I go through the whole world, So right? the garage complains. Really? Oh, my I God. Like so the garage... Go where I want, So the right? garage complained, I guess, that yeah, you ran out of there without it, resolving it. I didn't have it. to run out of anywhere. I walked right. over to the show because you were waiting for me, right? Okay. I was booked on the show That's right. by so Gary Delaparte, right? You know what? I gave him a hard time yesterday. I said, Eli Elliot, when I say seven, I mean seven. Right. So, he, so I think he right. really so needed to be here. Right. To be so here. I came here I, at right. seven because Ronnie. Gary said... Get my keister here. That's gangster talk for my ass over here at 7 a.m. Ronnie, Ronnie, right? Ronnie, 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 Ronnie wants, wants to say something. Yes, yes, Ronnie. All right. Ronnie, but don't push me out of the way. No, I'm not no he's got to get on the mic. I'm not going to push you back, right? Don't push me out of the way. If you push me, then i got to push right. you back, Calm. right? Calm down. Right? Yeah, everything's I'm good. Yeah, but I'm but Ronnie, let, let me get on the other side of you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let but me I, get on. Oh, yeah, but let me get on this side. Let me get on this side. Minutes. You're in my wrong side here, right? <laughs> right? Now look at this. Now we got 
Oh, you're tangled. Ronnie, Ronnie, what's the difference? Ronnie, you're tangled. Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. Ronnie. All right, all right. Ronnie, so, you're tangled. All right, easy. Take it easy. All right, so the police officers came up. Right. Elliot pulled into this garage across the street <laughs> yeah. with, with a rental truck. Right. Okay? He pulled into the driveway. It's like a ramp that goes down. Right. Obviously, the truck was too high. Right. And he tore down a sign or something. Right. Isn't that isn't that what we just said? Yeah. Right, Ronnie. Yeah. Isn't that what we just let said? Him, hold on, Elliot. Let well, we finish. just said that, Howard, right? Let him but finish. Howard, let me ask you something. Isn't this a bunch of poppycock and boulder dash and hogwash? Isn't this a lot of jibber jabber? Yeah, let me just that's to the going bottom of it. nowhere, well, right? Well, that's going hear. nowhere, right? Going somewhere. Go ahead, Ryan. Elliot, Take the microphone. Elliot, and every second that you talk is a second that you don't get the plug. What's right. going nowhere is your right. Right. What's, what's yeah. going nowhere is no, you, may, you may have I'm to going, you, might have, you may have to leave in a few minutes. That's Why? Why did the cops? I, I can leave any time I want. But the Ronnie, cops said I'm doing what I want here, right? What did the cops say, Ronnie? What did the cops say? The cops said. They took his friend that he brought along with him from Screw Magazine. Okay? Right, right. They're going to put him in the truck now because they pulled the truck All out of All they're there. doing is putting him in the truck, right? And they're letting him sit in the truck until I get there, right? In any event, anybody... Well, let us anybody, hear the end of the story that Ronnie's telling. That's the end of the story. So they're waiting well, we, in the yeah, truck. So what is right? the end of the story, Joe Ronnie? Allen is waiting in the truck, right? Uh. <laughs> Joe, Joe went to sit in the truck. But if there is a problem with the supervisor, the police officer's supervisor, that they want him to come down there... Right. They're going to come back up and they're going to take them. Right. Could they do that so they can take them at any time. I want them to drag him out on the air. That'd right, right. They're going to drag me out, but I don't see them dragging me out no, on the air. Right? I didn't say they were going to drag you out, no, Elliot. So then did I the, say what, that? What did you say? Oh, I, no, said, oh, if they, said that. I said if they right. need you, I said if they need you, I'll come back for you. All right? All right, all right. Let's move on. They don't need me, right? Why are you so aggravated? I'm not aggravated. The other issue. Issue in Elliot's life is that tomorrow, according to Howard 100 News, is the big day. Tomorrow, I believe Elliot's being evicted from his apartment. Oh yeah, I heard that on the news. That's why I was saying maybe you don't have an address. No, the reason you heard it wrong, right? You know, you always get the information upside down, backwards, inside out, right? The real scoop is when I was in the court, right? It was a very personal issue. Gary told me not to go too far and expose the whole expose. So he's like putting a gag into my mouth. Right. Well, you're libeling gonna, and slandering. Because he's going to be sued. To libel right. libel is you're okay as long sued. as it's the truth, right? <laughs> no. But in any event, it's a personal issue. So I did offer the court, right? Tw a matter of fact, right, Gary? 23 dimes, right? And they reported that. The news reported right. that you made the offer, right. and the landlord and, decided and that. And let me tell you what the landlord said to me. I told him, like, I didn't have the money. It was my brother's right. money, right? Right. The landlord accused me of being a liar. He said that he knows that's my money, and I perjured myself in court that I uh, said it was my uh, brother's uh, money. But, but he doesn't want weird. your money under any. Hey, I don't think he wants it, but, but the bottom line no, is he doesn't want anybody's money. said he just wants you to move out. He doesn't want it. So now he doesn't well, want your so money. So what we had to do, we went down yesterday, and we ran, we ran, right, in a hurry for a federal appeal, right, not a state appeal, to show that this is a personal and I can't use the next right. word. Uh, uh, a lot of personal issues, thing, right? Personal thing. Gary is very careful here, so they don't get sued again. Okay. So in any event, <laughs> so in any event, all right. They're very all right, careful. Elliot, they don't, let's right, plug your video. Event. Let's plug your video. Violet, dehumanizes. Violet dehumanizes elegant. Elliot's video. Got a truckload of them down. Violet dehumanizes elegant Elliot. Can be purchased at adult bookstores uh, in Manhattan. Uh, yes, but most at, importantly, excuse me, right? At 693 8th Avenue with Arnold Martin Pro uh, Proprietor, 44th and 8th Avenue. And Elegant Elliot today, right, will be doing an autograph signing, photo session shooting between 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. As all of us, prime time, big time, front and center, marquee will celebrity, you, where too. Will, Violet, right? Where will you go when you're evicted? Violet, there's a good question from Robin. And Violet is trying to arrange with uh, for her two children, her two Come beautiful on. children Jeez, that look like children. her, right? She has two little babies, Violet Maliver, right? She's trying to arrange to be there, too. Oh, you right. know, the girl that looks like she just jumped out of a Playboy magazine? 
violent maliva. Where will you go when you're evicted? Do you have a place we, planned? Well, that's the point. Did the federal appeal the, work? Yes or no? The, the, yes or no? The, the federal appeal yes is going to be no. decided today. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, if the federal <laughs> right, appeal listen. is denied, right, then I just move in with April, my former fiancé, right, who you did the crib show with, okay. right? right. right. Or, or, right. With, or with Violet Maliva, right? Would Violet or, want you to move in with April, though? Either one. I have my option, right? They're if you were a woman, wouldn't you want him to move in with the other woman? I would. They're both in my is it, video. Howard, isn't right, federal listen, court... Listen, listen let, me, let, let, let me... This is going to go on and on. Right. Listen to me. Elliot, you have right? been a guest on the show many times. I and want to thank you for... And you told me you're taking me with you to serious. All right. right? Hold on. Hold on. All right. Hold on. First of all, let me thank you for all the years of coming in. Right. <laughs> He's shocked. He's shocked. I, I'm He's not shocked. Done. I said right. Okay. I'm never shocked. All right. right. Thank you for coming in and doing right. this. I shock the world by breaking fingers, right? By punching. Thank you. Remember when I broke the first wife's fingers? I shock the world by breaking fingers, You're smashing face, and fingers? going through the whole world and gouging eyes out. Listen to me. Right? Listen to me. Listen oh. to me. Thank you for the years of coming on the show. We remember many, many moments where you were here and created some wild how's rage. The, how's the guns looking, by the way? How the guns listen, look? listen. All right. Go ahead, Howard. For once, listen. All right, go okay. ahead. Right. <laughs> also, on December 16th for my final show, when we lock arms outside. Could we, we just lock answer, him up? <laughs> you are welcome to join us and say a farewell to the audience. A brief, right? Brief farewell to Did the right. Robin, you if, you, if you try to lock me up, then I'm going to do to you what I did to my first wife, right? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Yes, we can lock arms, Howard. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of people will lock <laughs> arms downstairs. You lock arms. It's going to be a big show. Is this a formal invitation, uh, Howard? Everyone is invited. Is this a formal all invitation fans. for Elegant, yes. right? Yes. Okay. All fans are invited. Right. And Violet. Bring Violet. And Violet, too. Okay. And right. Violet Maliva, yes. yes. All right, thank you. And he said you could say uh, a few words. All right. A few, like five. Right. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. But what's a five means to like 50 to me, right? All right. 50 of your words. <laughs> we'll be walking, right. we'll be we'll walking down. I do, it, I do it my way, right? Uh, we'll be walking down to 48th I do it my way. Right. For, at 44th, by the way. After the... the, after the after I address the crowd yes, and sir. I've said my final yes, farewell Alan. and yes, the show sir. is over at 10 o'clock, I will then walk all of my stuff yes. up the street to my new home. Could he borrow your truck? And I will also be <laughs> planning. No, no, but you, you, I will also be planning a special something for my audience. Right. On that day. I don't know what it is yet. I'm working Some on Some contaminants and carcinogens in your, right. in your food variety? No. Right. Okay. Some contaminants right, and right, carcinogens. Right. Anyway, right. I want to thank you. For the years of you being here. You've been a great A yes. great guest. Ah, wow, coming from Robin what? Quivers and Howard Stern, the people that have this, this cornucopia, this reservoir, this unlimited, inexhaustible supply of cash. My favorite nutrient, cash. All right, Ralph, right. go ahead. You're on the air. Uh, can you imagine this guy living in your building? Right, well, you that's why he was a big well, I, tell, I tell you what, why, why don't you... Do you think why, I mean, it must Howard, be nonstop. Right, why don't you come down here so I can punch you out and take your eyes out? 40 West 57th Street, 14th Floor. So I think the cops are getting... Show, show, show me what you have. Gonna... Right? Why don't you come right up here? 40 West 57th Street, 14th Floor. Right? by the time I, I get wanna, to the cops, I want to look at you right now. Come up quick. Come up quick. Come up, come up All quick, right. scum. All the audience heard was right. No, they heard everything, Enema Bag. Yeah, hey, they heard right. everything, dirtbag, stupid bag, Enema Bag. I was talking to yeah. some, of the, uh, some of the women that work here. Yeah. And it, I was asking right. them who their least favorite guest was that comes up here. Yeah. And it's a tie between Jeff the Drunk and Elliot. The most hated guest Elliot's of all time, right? most frightening, not on when he's dressed as a woman, but when he's dressed as a man. Show, all right. right. Well, right. Elliot, thank you. And again, your video, I know you'll be signing today. Where are you going to be again uh, quickly? Quick signing, 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. 693, 8th Avenue, corner of 44th and 8th. The funny store, Arnold Martin, owns the store. The, vi the video, Violet Dehumanizes Elegant Elliot. On VA, get on VA Tombstone. Come up here in a hurry. Let Come Captain up Banks here in a hurry. Captain, right? Captain, say something nicely. Hey, Elliot, I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for all the years that you hurt my ears on Howard Stern show. 
That's all right. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep hurting your ears. Make sure you don't come too close to me so I don't bite your ear off like they did in Tyson and Holyfield, right? Would you, would you do so me I don't bite your ears off, would right? You me, would you do so me a I don't favor bite your ears off. So I don't bite your ears off. Come up quickly. Would you do me a favor Show me that you're not a yellow rat and a yellow dog. You suck. Come you up here. Show me you're not a yellow rat. You suck. So I can bite, I can bite your ears off, right? I bite your ears off. I want to punch your eyes out right now. You Do me suck. a favor. Come up here. I'm Walk. coming down come to the bookstore. Come to the Mondrian, 250 I'm coming down. 54th Street. We're I'm coming we'll down stand. to your appearance. We'll right. stand Elliot, outside Elliot. and we're going to wait for you. I'm right? coming down to your appearance. We're going to wait for you, douchebag. I'm gonna coming wait. down. <laughs> we're I'm going to kick your ass. Elliot, thank you. We're going to wait for you. Elliot, thank you. I'm going to leave you for dead. I'm going to leave you for dead. I'm going to leave you for dead. Say goodbye. I'm going to leave you for dead. Elliot, thank you, Elliot. Thank you. Say goodbye to the audience. Audience. Say goodbye. In any event, and we'll see you on the other side. You'll see me on December 16th. Right. We'll see for, you there. For, for the farewell. Okay. One more time, if you need the video, 1130 to 130, 44th and 8th. Funny store today. Autograph picture signing. Howard, Robin, Gary Delabati. Thank you very right. much, Fred. And good luck with And December 16th. Right. Thank you. E elegant Elliot Off. Goodbye, uh, Elliot. Wow. Wow, what an appearance. He's, he is uh, leaving. He's taking his screw magazine. He's going to go uh, figure out his whole deal. Right. I love him. I just, I love him. Yeah. God, First of all, I'm listening to the news on our thing. And uh, they, it's a six-minute report. They followed, right. they followed Elliot to court. Uh-huh. So because he's in a beef with his landlord. Yeah, you got to, maybe I'll play it now. Should That's I play it? It's so good. Okay. talk for disagreement. Right. you got to hear this report, okay? This you're going to love. And I don't know how many people hear it at the other place yet. So so our reporter follows Elliot to court, where Elliot is in a proceeding with his landlord. landlord. The landlord wants him out of the building, and he didn't even want money anymore. He just wants him out. Elliot came up with the money to even pay him. Yeah, he said, no, no, I don't want your money. He said, I just need this guy out of here because <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. So, afterwards, Elliot has a breakdown. You know, he's screaming and yelling. And then well, the, the, our is that because he loses? Yeah, our reporter. I'm, I'm just going through. Yeah, well, if something goes on. I don't even know. Okay. Our reporter decides to get in a cab with Elliot and interview him. Well, there's a Elliot starts. Move. Elliot starts freaking out that the reporter, this is all legit, but that the reporter has been leaving him harassing phone calls. And harassing him, and the reporter's like, well, I, "I mean, I don't even. I think I called you once. It, it, there's a whole thing going on." And by the end of the report, Elliot jumps out of the taxi cab they're in, opens the door, the, the so cab it's moving. I, I don't know. It stopped. The cab gets hit by another car. The whole door gets taken off, oh. and Elliot jumps out of the cab and runs away. He laughs like De Niro in Cape Fear. He's yeah, maniacal. He yeah, I heard there was a maniacal laugh involved. And this is all captured. I don't even know if I have it anymore. Oh, you have to have it now. What did I do with it, Gary? Um, oh, here it is. Ha, uh, H100 News. There we go. All right. This is in it. It's a, it's, a, it's a fairly long report, but it's compelling as hell. He does a great job, the reporter, I have to say. And he's got, a, he's got balls of steel. The news director, this, girl, this, girl, this woman, Liz, says to me, I told him to not go in the cab with Elliot. It's too dangerous. And he disregarded. Went anyway? He went anyway with Elliot. Wow. And she told him, definitely don't go in the apartment. Right. And yeah, she would not let him up in the apartment. Because he was headed towards Elliot's apartment, right? Yeah. She said, do not go into Elliot's apartment. It's like a horror movie. Yeah. This is Howard 100 News. I'm Ralph Howard. And I'm George Flores. Our top story, stern whackpacker elegant Elliot often certainly gives new meaning to the label whackpacker. Elliot was in a Manhattan courtroom fighting to stay in the apartment he owes back rent on. Back rent to the tune of $20,000. <laughs> Howard 100 News reporter Steve Langford was also there. And his presence touched off a firestorm inside that courtroom. Then spilled out into the streets of New York. Here's Steve now with the exclusive story that can only be described as bizarre. Howard 100, world exclusive. <laughs> I'm sorry, where are we going, Ellie? I have to make a stop at midtown, then we're going to the Mondrian, right? I say, where do you want to go, Ellie? We're making a stop, I just said. Um, at where? Mid, um, 
34th, please, sir. And first up, 34th. 7th Avenue, then the Mondrian, 54th and 2nd. Just getting in a New York City cab with enervating Elliot Offen on a freezing winter day is enough to make a newsman want to head off to Iraq where war reporting might be safer and more peaceful. <laughs> Couldn't close that window. So... No, because we I like it ice cold. As a matter of fact, I can take my jacket off. It's burning hot. Right? Only the people that have diabetes and heart disease and cancer are cold, right? You got enough jackets on, right? Rolling down his window isn't obnoxious enough, so at the next red light, often suddenly opens the taxi door in traffic to take off his coat. Uh, you should have some, like, $100 bills to induce me to give you this interview. You should be paying me for the interview, right? Everybody, like, pays elegant, right? Howard 100 News has just covered the latest in Elliot Offit's battle with his New York landlord. A housing court judge ruling Offen will be evicted December 1st if he doesn't leave before. Often tells the judge that this Howard 100 News reporter has been harassing him with phone calls. Fifteen, he claims. In fact, only two calls were made to Often. Um, what's your first name? All kidding the song. Steve. Steve, and your last name, I know you're going to give me a phony name because you don't want to be brought up on charges, but... Elliot. What's your, what's your last name? Don't give me all the circuitous... You like that word? Digressive double talk? What's your last name? Serious. The same last name it was last time. Well, what is it? What is it? Don't tell me the last time. Langford. How do you spell it? L-A-N-G-F-O-R-D. Do you have an ID for that? I just showed you. You know, you, you flashed me something. I don't know what you... You flashed it in one second. Come on, Heavy. You know better than that. Can I look at it? Can I hold it? Right? No, right? Can't hold it, oh, can't. oh, right. You want to hold it 10 feet away from me. I can't see that. You're covering it up with your fingers, right? This Howard 100 News reporter is heading to Elliot Offen's apartment for two reasons. <laughs> to see what on earth it looks like. And to listen to Offen's alleged evidence that this reporter called Offen's apartment 15 times. The taxi ride to Offen's place is a real trip. The poor taxi driver needs a little peace. Oh, come on, you're paying for the cab. We'll get another cab, right? He doesn't need peace, right? I'm the star, right? I'm on worldwide television. You're following me, right? Because whatever I do, like, when I my ass, right? You like those words? Profanity, right? Everybody wants to know about it, right? It's my next question about why Elliot would claim to object to the attention from Howard 100 News that makes often go thermonuclear. Well, Elliot, if you're a star... Not if. What do you mean if? What do you mean, brain dead? What do you mean? I'm on worldwide television with your boss, with Stern. What do you mean if? So Bra Elliot. Brain damaged, brain defective, right? Brain dead, brain deficient, right? Yes, Steve? Elliot, if you're a star... Not, not, not if, retard. Recall, reject. At this point, it seems like a good time to call the boss. Howard 100 News Director Liz Aiello to let her know where we're going with this story. Liz, I just wanted to let you know where I am. I'm in the cab with Elliot. Uh, he's uh, loud as usual. Uh, he wants me to go to his apartment to see uh, evidence of uh, 15 harassing phone calls. From you, Steve! From you! From me. <laughs> uh, so I... <laughs> as the boss proceeds to tell me... By the way, this guy Steve is really brave because uh, who would go to Elliot's apartment? I wouldn't go anywhere near them. Well, Liz said Steve, you are not to go in the apartment. It just isn't worth taking the risk of going to Offen's apartment. Elliot takes a moment to yell into the phone to praise the work I'm doing. Liz, do you, rea do you realize, oh, whoever you are, I that, this is, that this is a complete uh, flunky, a complete nobody, a beef know, stew? I can, I can a complete beef stew, like right? Liz. Well, then call her up and get out. Just pay the cab fare, right? Just call it off, right? right? Call it off, right? Uh, what I'll do is I'll tell Elliot if... Yeah, I'll ask, I'll, well, I'll tell you in a minute, but um, I'll ask him, you know, if he does have evidence of these 15 phone calls that uh, we've made that have harassed I just told you uh, I did. All open and shut, airtight, iron clad, right? Uh, Black Elliot and white. Trying to listen to listen. I don't care what you're trying to do, right, Steve? So Steve, listen. as I would say to okay, you so in the street vernacular, I don't care if you live or die, Steve, right? 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 Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Great. Bye-bye. Steve, how's that? How's that gangster line? I don't care if you live or die, right? Uh, Steve, isn't that great? I don't care, Steve, if you live or die. That's gangster talk, right? Elliot Offen, armed with <laughs> shtick that would make Don Rickles cringe, is a character much better experienced on radio than face-to-face. -face. Nice talking to you, Elliot.
Good luck finding an apartment to rent. Well, listen, Elliot, I'm going to, uh, I think we're going to pull over. I figured that. Steve, I told you you were a yellow, gutless, f***less rat, didn't I tell you? Yes. Just pay the cab, Steve. Okay, Elliot. Because I'm getting out. I'm Send getting, us the evidence. I, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing hysterically, often exits the cab, opening the door in traffic without even bothering to look, practically getting killed. Luckily for him, and unluckily for the cab driver, the back door is now a crumpled mess. We can only imagine what his apartment looks like. For Howard 100 News, I'm Steve Langford. And despite the danger, Howard 100 News will continue to cover this really strange saga. And if armed marshals are forced to show up at Elliot's apartment, rest assured, we will be there as well. Oh, I love it. I said oh. Michigan. Oh, that's great. That's a great report, isn't it? Oh, I'm just, I could hear it all over again. <laughs> yeah, did you not hear that when it aired? No. Yeah, I was riveted. This guy, he's a reporter, isn't it? This guy's going to read that. Yeah. How's my Howard 100 News team? I mean, give him a round of applause. Oh, Very great. good. Very good. I mean, give him a round of applause. I mean, yeah. Dude, you just played that part where he's getting out of the cab. I, I know. The I mean, best? that is just mind-blowing. I know. The only thing wrong with that story is they didn't repeat that part. <laughs> In slow motion. Yeah. I think Elliot's starting to lose it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You always will give it people. Yeah, hey, I know what I'm talking about. I think about. he's starting to find it. <laughs> he opens the cab door into right into traffic. Right. Yeah. We're going to play some moments next. Uh, Jim Brewer's stopping by. He's going to give us his favorite moment. I forgot all about this moment. Jim Brewer's favorite moment from our 20 years here. Is that right? What is, uh, it? is, is it? A, it's great. Yeah? Yeah, I forgot all about it. You're going to let him reveal it? Yeah. Hey, Ron. Now that I can talk. Yeah. So what really happened was the police were afraid. He pulled into his garage, tore down the sign, jumped out of a truck and ran. Right. To get here. <laughs> right. Okay? Yeah. They were afraid it was a terrorist attack. Right? Uh, oh. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> right. So these guys, these guys from, that came up here, they were really nice to let him stay here and be on the air. Right. But they were ready to yank him out of here. Thank you, officers. Uh, right? How did you, you know, those poor police officers, they got to deal with a silly city full of officers. Yeah. Oh, man. Right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, this guy deserve a medal. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. Jim Brewer stopping by. Right? After today, 12 <laughs> shows left. Right? My friends. Yeah. And on the 12th day. Right? I'm going to go outside and say hi to everyone. If anyone wants to come down, I'm going to give my farewell address. Right? I'm not allowed. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it outside the building, and then at 10 o'clock when the show's over, I'm going to walk all my stuff down the street. You're going to continue on. Yeah, you're right? invited to walk with me, and I'm trying to put together some special moment to thank you guys, do something special for you. I would like to have this radio station do something special, but I don't think they're in the mood to be generous. Right? Um, but although Tom did say to me there might be ten grand that we're going to give away outside. We'll see. If not, I'll bring my own cash. Give boys some cash. So for the far, best sign. In, in your last year, they've done nothing special. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the last year hasn't been that easy. But uh, what I will do is invite everyone to walk with me and then uh, follow me, and hopefully I can throw a little party for everyone. Yeah. That's what I'm working on, okay. if I can do that. I don't what? even know yet. But in any case, I'd like the opportunity to go outside and thank everyone and bring everyone out from the show. And, you know, a lot of the people who have contributed to the show, I want to invite, uh, you know, Dominic down here and, um, you know, of course, Beetlejuice. Of and, course. And uh, the great uh, Jeff the Drunk. And Eric. Elliot. And all, everyone, the whole gang, Captain Jack, Elephant everyone. Elephant Boy. Elephant Boy. So Dominic's coming. Yeah, I hope so. I hope everyone well, will show up. Well, he wasn't going to be in the studio. That was the whole thing with Don. Even guys from way back, Leslie West, everyone. Jim Brewer, come on by. You know, yeah. come say hi to the crowd. I, and, started, I started to feel guilty about Dominic. I thought maybe he should be here. Do you want? Yeah, me too. Do you? Yeah. Do you know what you're going to say to the crowd? You want? You want to <laughs> say a few words? Should I? Should I? No, I got to prepare. I'm right, preparing. You all need to prepare a few words. I think. I'm preparing a speech. It's going to be something along the lines of a drunken fire. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to make a moving speech. I want to move the people. I well, want to. You know, I'm not going to move anybody. But to me, the real moment will be when I grab all of our stuff, the Robo Spanker, yeah. the, the um, I'm going to take the Robo Spanker, the, the, the tickle chair, the wheel of sex, load them onto a dolly, and walk my stuff up the street. And that will be my farewell. And um, I will broadcast most of that here. 
unless Tom decides to cut it off because I've walked too far. But I'll do the rest of my walk at 10. Uh, I just thought of a great song that we should start the show with. The song starts, Walk With Me. Mm -hmm. And then it's Stay In My Corner. Yeah, I don't even know that song, Walk With Me. It's an old, old song. Yeah, I'm not playing that. Stay In My Corner. You keep that idea to yourself. Come on, it's perfect words. Won't you stay in my corner? (laughs) Yes. I think Highway to Hell is more appropriate. And Walk With Me. All right, let me take a break. We'll say hi to Jim Brewer, who's coming by. He's going to give us his favorite moment from the 20 years. And I think he's come up with a good one. I forgot all about this. We'll be back right after these words. The Howard Hughes.